Hello guys, this is iPad customer bring it. The glass is broken, we need to change it. This is an iPad 5th generation. It's 2017 I think is a model and the exact model if you see 1822. So let's do it. These two kind of methods you can use that isopropyl. Sometimes I'm using isopropyl, sometimes I'm using that heat gun. So that's your choice. You wanna use the iPad with uh, last to remove remove it uh, you want to use the isopropyl or you want to use the heat gun so let's do it i will use the one uh, first isopropyl so keep in your mind this glass is open like a book style so when you open it so open should be like that way look like this digitizer has been replaced before now this is easy to remove it and we can easily change it if sometimes your ipad is not been repaired and it's the first time you are um, trying to remove that one keep in your mind that's very difficult to remove it's not easily then you have to put that isopropyl and sometimes you have to use the air gun and temperature should be at 350 or maximum 375 and then it will be okay but this one i'm not using a heat gun at all because uh, this been this digitizer has been re removed before you see I'm using little bit isopropyl and now that's start coming off itself like like easy way Here you go you see after that you have to remove these four screws and then after that we will remove the LCD first and then uh, digitizer most of the times customer asking that why you are putting that um, your video is in a some fast mode um i'm trying to do it without any changing um so you can easily that those who are repairing at the first time or those repairing um, um like um sometimes people are repairing at home and then it's very easy for them and if you follow the instructions then i'm sure it will be easy for you so because um another thing so when you are removing the lcd first time so that will be a glue here so you have to use that exposure like that way very carefully because sometimes lcd can be damaged and this lcd screen is very sensitive so you can see here if you see um here are three screws so you have to remove them Here you go so the lcd has been removed now now these are two connector we have to remove it and this is your uh, what you call that um, home button flex so that's it and here you go now when you're using the new digitizer so make sure you have to remove this home button and place into the new digitizer then after that we can reinstall it
so guys first we will try that one and test it before we install completely So the touch is working now so we will try to install it now first we will clean that area 